Welcome back to SourceFed, I'm Matt Lieberman. 3D printing is one of the most fascinating new areas in engineering technology. Though it's a relatively new industry, the possibilities for how it could potentially affect our lives are mind-boggling. 3D printed furniture, 3D printed homes, 3D printed food. Even these little guys, little 3D, little Liebermans. Got this from the, the Shapeways people. However, one area of 3D printing that has been slow to grow has been the 3D printed weapons industry. Now, regardless of your feelings about weapons, the ability to produce them cheaply and effectively is the future of the military police force hunting and home protection. So what's been holding them back? Well, the problem thus far has been that the amount of force produced by firing a bullet is simply too great for a firearm made of cheap plastic. The guns simply crack, shatter, or flat out explode upon use. Finally, however, a young engineer may have the answer. 25 year old Michael Crumling realized that if the impact could not be sustained by the gun itself, maybe it could be absorbed by the bullet's shell casing. The result? A lead bullet inside of a hand-machined, one-inch thick steel shell. Thick barrel of steel absorbs the vast majority of the explosive force of gunpowder, leaving the 3D printed weapon in perfect condition, shot after shot. Each round takes approximately 60 minutes to make, which is far from a perfect solution, but the materials for each one only cost around 27 cents a piece, which, along with the materials required to print and assemble the weapon, drastically lowers the price of entry for aspiring weapons manufacturers. Thing to note though about his pistol prototype, it requires an open roof for the bullet chamber as the force of the shell casing ejection is great enough to crack the gun. He also modified it with some metal screws, an AR-15 trigger, and firing hammer, though their collective cost is under $30. The weapon also contains a chunk of metal to make it legal under the Undetectable Firearms Act. So for anyone panicking about the gun getting through metal detectors, you can breathe a collective sigh of relief. <sighs> Crumling also does not intend to sell his ammunition, though he has put designs for both the weapon and the rounds on the internet for all to see. So now we want to hear from you. Do you think that this is a marvel of weapons engineering, or do you worry about lowering the price of entry for those seeking weapons? Let us know down in the comments below. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share. I'm Matt Lieberman. Thanks for watching SourceFed.